Bueno, mi gente, welcome back to Daily Flash Latino, tu fiesta de fin de semana. As we all know, we're just a few days away from el Día de los Enamorados. Yes, we are, and while some people go all out and celebrate their love, we need to find out how Valentine's Day is good for your relationship, and who better to help answer than this all amazing life and relationship coach, Odette Coronel. Bienvenida al programa, chica, ¿cómo estás? Oh my God, we gotta know. Welcome, welcome. Is, yeah, yeah, is el Día de los Enamorados good for a relationship? Bueno, buenos días. Gracias. Un gusto estar aquí con ustedes. And um, I love talking about love, my favorite topic. <laughs> so, uh, <laughs> of course, you know, Valentine's Day and re it's great for your relationship. It's an opportunity to celebrate your love, to pause and think about it. Because, of course, we're busy with our everyday lives, with our work, with kids, with family, everything that's going on. And we know we love our partners or we care about each other, but it is important to take the time to stop and celebrate. And, you know, Valentine is just another opportunity to celebrate our love, you know, to think about what we appreciate about each other, um, to have fun together, right? And uh, I think that it's something that we should make the custom of doing all the time, right? Celebrating our love, but we don't, right? We don't always have the time to do that. So this is just an opportunity to even think about what, when we feel loved and appreciated and ourselves so that we can express that to our partner, but also to think about what we can do to help our partner feel loved and appreciated. So yeah, I love Valentine's Day. It's a great opportunity for that. So, um, I, you know, I think like this is a really big mistake that us women make when we tell men, and GP, I know you probably have gotten <laughs> this before in your relationships, where we're like, I, it's not a big deal. You don't really have to do nothing. When in fact, it is a big deal. Because when you see like your coworker getting the flowers or the balloons, because I mean, they have balloons at the dollar store. Like people can, why us women, do you think we shouldn't, we should stop downplaying Valentine's when in realidad es algo bien importante para nosotras? You know, it's not that we should downplay Valentine's Day. I don't think we should downplay it because it is important and it's great to celebrate. But I think we shouldn't put that pressure on ourselves, you know, a lot of or on our partner. A lot of times what happens is that we have all these expectations about what Valentine's Day should look like or what being romantic, you know, means. And then we end up feeling disappointed or we feel, you know, we feel upset with our partner or whatever. And then that turns into something negative, but it re it's really more about the expectation and the pressure that we put on ourselves, especially when we see, when we look at social media and we see what other people are doing, we're seeing, you know, the highlights of their date or their relationship, uh, which may not be the reality. Right. So, you know, it's, it's important, of course, to every day in small ways, show love and appreciation yeah. to communicate more right to connect or reconnect with right. your partner it's also an opportunity to we have to take a minute to like pause and think what do we need you know what do i need in order to to feel loved and appreciated mm. We go to, you know, the store and we we pick the the Valentine's Day cards or whatever, and they express all these things that maybe we feel, but we can't seem to articulate. <laughs> so that's mm -hmm. helpful too, to, to, to read the card and feel special. But it's also an opportunity to, you know, create a new memory together, to celebrate your love, to reminisce, and also to talk about the future, you know, yes. life is stressful and busy and everything. And we need that that special day. We need moments to celebrate, you know, the happy, satisfied couples for every negative interaction that we have or mm -hmm. every argument or whatever. You need at least p five positive things in the oh relationship. Oh, my goodness. Oh, go. my goodness. So celebrating Valentine. <laughs> yeah. Girl, so celebrating girl, we could wish, I wish we could keep you here throughout the whole show. We need to do a whole nother show on relationships because <laughs> we, we <do>. you are <laughs> incredibly entertaining. Thank you so much for being with us. I hope you have an amazing Valentine's Day and all of your information is on our screen. So make sure to follow our girl, Odette. Gracias, chica. Feliz fin de semana de los enamorados. Muchísimas gracias, Odette. Thank you. Feliz fin de semana. Bye. Take care.